Hello everybody. Munnar, popularly known as the Kashmir of South India, is a town and hill station on Western Ghats mountain ranges located in the Idikki district in the Indian state of Kerala. It is known to be one of the most uh, sought after tourist destinations in South India due to its uh, pristine valleys, mountains and exotic varieties of flora and fauna. It's a most popular hill station which is preferred by honeymooners, family vacationers, as well as nature lovers. A hill station and former resort for the British Raj Elite, it's surrounded by rolling hills dotted with tea plantations established in the late 19th century. Munnar used to be the summer resort of the British rulers during colonial times. It is known for its green belt of lush forests and unending expanse of tea estates. The ethereal beauty of the scenic valley rolling hills, virgin forest and waterfalls will enchant anybody. Etymology of Munnar and Kanandevan Hills Munnar got its name from the word Munnar, which means three rivers in Malayalam. The hill station is situated at the confluence of Kundli, Nallathani and Madhrapura rivers. The Muthuven tribal community was the early inhabitants of Munnar and till the second half of the 19th century it was still unexplored and wild. When the first British men came to Munnar, they found in two Muthuven tribesmen their local guides. The Muthuvens who were the early tribesmen and inhabitants of the hills guided the British to the various spots in the area. And it is believed that the two Muthuvens were named Kannan and Devan and that's why the British named the hill, hill ranges as Kannan Devan Hills. Munnar was developed as a plantation town by John Daniel Munro, the then British resident to Travancore. You need a minimum of uh, three days to uh, visit Munnar. On the first day, you can uh, visit the flower garden followed by photo point then move over to Matupeti Dam and do a bit of boating. After that you can move over to Echo Point. Then visit Kundala Dam. Boating facility is available there also. After that you can move over to the uh, last point that is the top station. On day 2 you can plan to visit the Iravikulam National Park at Rajamala. The Nyamakad waterfalls is also close to the entrance of uh, Iravikulam National Park. The Lekam waterfalls is also in the same route and it's a must visit for uh, anybody uh, visiting uh, Munnar. After that you can uh, move forward to Marayur where you can see the sandalwood forest as well as uh, uh, see the jaggery making process. Further you can uh, move on to uh, visit the Muniaras and if uh, you have time you can see the Chinar uh, wildlife uh, sanctuary. On day 3 you can keep it apart to visit some of the uh, nearby places in Munnar like uh, the Putamedu viewpoint or visit Devi Kulam, the Chinnaganal uh, waterfalls, Gap Road and also the Tata Tea Museum. Uh, that's a must visit for uh, most of the people visiting uh, Munar. Now let's have a look at some of the short videos and photographs of uh, typical tourist spots in Munar. 